Hi, I'm Bill Waverly. And I'm Kate Gloss with All You Want to Know. Top of the news, a new champion in the war against crime. President Goodman today announced formation of the Anti-Crime Network, an elite force of private law enforcement operatives to be headed by millionaire industrialist and political heavyweight Christopher Stern. With funding from government, business, and the midweek lottery, the ACN promises a billion dollar crackdown on organized crime and safer streets for you and me. In other news, Governor Hernandez apologizes for global warming, promising a statewide hot air initiative. How he plans to achieve his targets... It's official. Privatized is best. Following last year's armed forces sell-off and the financial success of the Mideast War, the ACN is extending its crime-fighting capability with private contractors specially trained to hunt down wanted felons. ACN chief Christopher Stern said the new headhunters will be Layla certified and fully insured, promising to deliver more bang for your buck. Meanwhile, more power to the elbow of concerned parents with new laws prohibiting all public displays of human or animal violence. You know, Bill, my dog just hates violence. We could learn a lot from dumb animals, Kate. Next up, movie madness in Muskoka. Every school kid knows the value of life, Kate. But how about a life of crime? From today, all wanted felons are to have bail bonds set by government, with values listed on the criminal exchange. More crimes and worse crimes see the bail figure rise. Rehab sees it fall. Successful headhunters receive 10% of the bail, the rest going to meet ACN costs. Felons unable to meet bail face compulsory organ donation. Kate? Recycling is the order of the day. Now crime fighters have got the message with new organ-friendly weapons set to replace old-fashioned firearms. Superior to conventional weapons in range and accuracy, the electric neural projectile, or EMP gun, attack the target's nervous system, causing severe pain and eventual brain death without damaging much-needed internal organs safeguarding supplies for hard-working citizens and their families. From today, possession of conventional firearms is illegal. Well, that's great, Bill. Those old guns were really nasty. And in tonight's lifestyle feature, we ask synthetic versus natural implants. When it comes to organs, can you beat the real thing? Latest figures show the CCS criminal control system has been a big success since the government licensed the technology from the Biotech Corporation. The CCS subcranial biochip implant uses neural redirection to suppress criminal urges and dampen aggression. Future models could include thought monitoring and reconstruction, limiting the subject's freedom to think and act. Sounds great to you and me, but one person not so happy is mysterious recluse Don Fulci. The suspected crime lord interrupted last night's lottery draw with an illegal broadcast in which he denounced the ACN's crime-fighting initiatives. I believe these measures threaten our great democracy. Christopher Stern is a dictator, and the ACN is private army. As a businessman and concerned citizen, I will do everything in my power to stop them. With bail bonds rising, every child knows crime pays. But little Jimmy Brown of Orange County coined a cool two million credits by informing on his dad and his uncle, both wanted felons. Nationwide, informants contributed to another record low in crime figures, with many felons turning in criminal associates. Well, it just goes to show no one's all bad, Bill. Meanwhile, ACN Chief Christopher Stern today appointed protege and former assistant Alan Sharp agency vice president. Known as a hardliner, Sharp championed the three strikes and your organs are out penalty for repeat offenders and promises more of the same. In breaking news, a leading citizen is murdered at his desk. Full victim profile and safety at work feature in our next bulletin. 
For now, I'm Bill Waverly. And I'm Kate Gloss. And that's all you need to know. Welcome to Layla. Headhunter techniques for new recruits. Basic crime fighting proficiency training. Prepare for virtual reality simulation. Headhunter proficiency test. Neural resonance 120 and rising. We have core activity. Increase to 500 megahertz. Subject is conscious. Security, it's the alarm. We have a situation. Subject is dangerous. Close all exits.
Who are you? Please, I... I can't remember. Patient's name is Jack Wade. Found unconscious in the parking lot of an industrial park a week ago. In and out of metabolic coma the past three days. Gunshot trauma to the leg. Evidence of some advanced surgery. Surgery? What surgery? And apparent retrograde amnesia. Suggestive therapy controlled neural rehab. Mental stimulation. A daughter and a nation say farewell. Christopher Stern, founder and father figure of the ACN, was buried today in Arlington National Cemetery. Among the mourners, distraught Angela Stern was comforted by Alan Sharp, recently elected ACN vice president and Stern's chosen successor. Christopher Stern was far more than a boss to me, and I'm honored to build on the foundations he laid. Decades of criminality have been reversed. Organized crime is in retreat, but we can do much more. Closer cooperation between the ACN and biotech will allow ever greater control over criminals, suspects, and those thinking criminal thoughts. The war is only just beginning. Meanwhile, debate still rages over who was responsible for Stern's assassination, many pointing the finger at self-styled Don Emilio Fulci. Thought to have links with a criminal syndicate, little is known about Fulci. Never seen in public, his appearance remains shrouded in mystery. An ACN raid on offices of one of Fulci's business interests revealed no trace of the elusive criminal magnet. Kate? Thanks, Bill. In other news, psychotic gangster Esteban Ramirez rose three points on the criminal exchange, hitting a career-high 1750. Mass murderer John Lindsay continued his slide down five to 1700. No change at the top of the Headhunter League, however. Hank Redwood bringing in three most wanted for his fifth successive number one ranking. Redwood's had his critics, but it seems there's no question now that he's... Second best. You. You were the best, Wade. Do I know you? Maybe this will jog your memory. Smith & Easton Stimulator, ENP Automatic. Clip size? 10 rounds. Muzzle velocity? 850. Payload? Combined neurostimulants and motor cortex scrambler, producing incapacity and eventual brain death. <laughs> like riding a bike. I'm Chief Frank Hawk, and you, Wade, were my number one headhunter. Eight years, top of the league for six. More captures than the rest of them put together. I'm a regular hero. And now you're fired for life. Sorry, Wade, but it's orders. They don't even tell me why. Times are changing. Maybe if we knew what happened to you... You're asking the wrong guy. That's too bad. You could go independent. You'd have to pass the Layla test, but you'd get a weapon and a VM. Wouldn't give access to classified files, but it'd be a start. Back to school, huh? With an ENP gun in your hand, it could be worse. Contact me when you got your Layla license. I'll help any way I can. Word of warning. You've woken up with quite a few enemies. I wouldn't trust anyone you don't know. And right now, you don't know anyone. Jack Wade? Stern? Angela Stern? You know my name. I watch TV. Christopher Stern's daughter. I saw your father's funeral. I'm sorry. So am I. I want you to help me, Mr. Wade. I want you to find the man who killed my father. I want Don Fulci to be sorry, too. How do you know it was Don Fulci? He hated my father and everything he stood for. Call it a hunch. Why don't you tell it to the ACM? They want to see him behind bars. I want to see him dead. I'm not an executioner. You don't know what you are. 
Retrograde amnesia, remember? Outside of the killer, you were the last person to see my father alive. His diary shows you had a meeting with him. You were working together on some kind of secret project. Find my father's killer, and maybe you'll find out what happened to you. I'll think about it. Don't think too long. I'd say medical expenses are running at a kidney donation already. You can spend the rest of your life hunting lowlifes, or crack the case of the decade for a handsome fee. How handsome? Two million on delivery of Fulci. What about in advance? My assets are frozen until my father's case is closed. You'll have to trust me. I heard that before. Just remembered. That's a good sign. Get well soon, Jack. And when you do, come pay me a visit. Some place you have here. I grew up in this house. It seemed real big and exciting then, but now... I'll get us an X must. Take a look around. Maybe some of Daddy's ACN stuff could help jog your memory. That's me, Daddy, and Alan Sharp. Alan was from the wrong side of the tracks. Daddy took him under his wing, paid his tuition, put him through college, fast-tracked him into the ACN, called him the son he never had. When you're a kid, hearing that kind of hurts. Later, Alan and me were an item for about five minutes. Zweiberg's pretty much our top scientist, a refugee from communist times. He developed the criminal control system. Without it, the ACN might have lost its war against crime. Daddy was worried about some of the Big Brother stuff biotech is developing, but Alan's gung-ho. My father's Layla certificate. He insisted on taking the same tests as his men. Layla tests let headhunters upgrade their license so they can get bigger cases and better equipment. You're going to need to get a license before you start after Don Fulci. My graduation diploma from MIT. Truth is, I only went there to prove a point to my father. Do something useful, maybe join the ACN one day. Boy stuff. Then I found out I had a talent for it. Computers, technology, so much for all those ballet classes. My father and the president were at Harvard together. After the military, daddy went into industry, used his money to finance the president's election. The new penal code, privatized law enforcement, the ACN, it's all stuff they dreamed up when they were students. An agent's handbook, the ACN Bible, it's history, philosophy, codes of practice. My father wrote every word. There's background on the standard weapon types, too. May want to refresh your memory next time you lay hands on an ENP gun. Here, key card to the elevator. Use it to get in and out through the garage. Feel free to drop by any time. Mikasa Sukasa. Before you go, I have something to show you down in the garage. You can use my bike to get around town. 
relic from my wild days. But it still works fine. Nice body work. For a relic. Hmm. The Layla testing facilities are located here. Time to go get that, that license. Guess it's a while since you've been in the saddle. I figure it'll come back to me. Knock him dead, Jack. Jack Wade is at Live and Breathe. Sorry, I... What, you don't remember me? Boy, that hurts. Hank Redwood, professional headhunter. You and me, we were real close. I was number one, you were right up there at second best. Only not everyone saw it that way till now. Maybe they'll change their minds again. <laughs> Most of our colleagues training in here, they only got A licenses if they're lucky. 
This here is a triple A. I beat your record, Jack. You want the number one spot? You'll have to climb right over me, starting with your very own C license. Wait, it's coming back. Yeah, Hank Redwood. Abusive father, flunked out of high school, loved working the Vice Squad, found he had a nose for sniffing out lowlife, never had a girlfriend, dog walked out on him. Wait a minute, how did you know? Call it a lucky guess. Okay, smartass. Go get your C, we'll see who's laughing. Oh, and hey, my dog never walked out on me. Here for a license? Okay. To obtain a law enforcement license, you must pass the entry grade proficiency test using the VR terminal located in the VR room. Passing further tests will allow you to upgrade your license if merited by your performance in the field. In the unlikely event that you're successful, the VR terminal can also be used to access information from the Layla database. Once licensed, you can withdraw equipment from the equipment dispenser for your grade of license. Clear? To begin the test, approach the VR terminal. That's the easy part.
Your ID card and VM, Ancient Wade. Model VM52X standard issue. Bio-recognition chip identifies the user assessing his digital career resume. Access to some information may be restricted. Could be a blessing in disguise. Full operating instructions are in the online database together with all standard briefings. Any questions, check the database. Any problems, give it a whack. Anything else, ask anyone but me. Sign here, here, and here. To collect your other equipment, approach the correct dispenser for your license type and insert your ID card. Note the VM also functions as a cellular phone. Hi, Jack. How's it feel to be licensed again? Like I just graduated kindergarten. You have anything on Fulci yet? He'll be the first to know. Call me when you do. Find him, Jack. Wade, good to see you back in the game. Yeah, but shooting blind. How can I use this thing to get information on past assignments? Sorry, Wade, that stuff's classified. You don't have clearance now you're finished with the ACM. I need to know who the hell I am. What happened to me? What I was working on for Christopher Stern? You said you'd help. Well, best I can do is to give you level one clearance. It'll give access to some of your old files, low security stuff. I'm stepping way out of line here. Hi. I'm Kate Gloss with All You Need to Know. Top of the news. Victory in the battle against organ smuggling. In one of their biggest operations to date, ACN officers armed with sniffer dogs today seized organs with a street value of $30 million in a raid on the city docks. The black market in so-called backdoor organs is estimated to cost the government $200 million a year in lost duty, as well as causing shortages for law-abiding citizens. ACN Supremo, Alan Sharp, described the raid as a boost to public health, promising the organs would be distributed free to seniors and single moms. Meanwhile, border police struck a blow against the market in on-the-hoof organs, capturing 35 illegals as they were being herded into the country by organ rustlers. The illegals are now being processed by immigration. In other news... The U.S. threatened to withdraw all hamburger franchises from Russia unless Premier Iganov takes action to halt the flow of illegal weapons from the country. The move is seen as the next step in a campaign to keep conventional firearms out of the hands of criminals.
Hollywood actors recently helmed an ENP Awareness Day in which gun enthusiasts got to try out the new Smith & Easton Stimulator Automatic. With enhanced sound effects, recoil, and explosive impact on non-organic targets, the Stimulator promises responsible gun owners all the thrills of a conventional weapon. I certainly keep a Stimulator by my bed, Bill. Absolutely, Kate. And coming up in tonight's lifestyle feature, two wheels or four. With road accidents costing body parts and Grey Wolf's Wolfpack biker gang riding high on the criminal exchange, we ask, does riding a motorcycle make you a bad person?
Jack, where are you? The gas station. My baby takes premium, remember? Naturally. Listen, I checked out the criminal database for those two informers. They both have CCS chip implants. Guess they can't be working too well. Doesn't matter. Every control chip has a unique electromagnetic signature which can be tracked over short distances. If you have the ID code for a particular chip, it'll lead you right to it. You wouldn't happen to know the codes for our two guys. I, uh, stumbled across them while I was in the database, wiring them to your VM right now. If the informers are around, you should pick them up on your map. Happy hunting, Jack. Don't you love the smell of roast informer? Yeah, that'll teach people to go squealing on the wolf pack. What do you do with the other one? He's taking a lie down in the corridor outside the John. How about we do some target practice? Starting with those cans, then move on to the squealer. <laughs> Must have been some kind of overload.
so much for the Wolfpack retirement plan. man with an EMP gun. I got your number, Headhunter. They told me about you. Maybe you can share sometime. <laughs> you won't live long enough. Jack, did you find the informers? Yeah, but they weren't up to talking. What about Grey Wolf? He got away, but I figure there's only one place he's going. Time to pay Amco a visit. Be careful. Grey Wolf's a piece of work. I noticed. These double shifts are killing me. Better them than Grey Wolf. Keep your eyes open. That headhunter could show up and the boss wants him bad. I heard he took out some guys over at the gas station. Plus, it was him turned those two squealers. I never saw Grey Wolf so mad. He called the meeting up on the third floor, and that always means trouble.
He was dead. Well, he's the best they got. He took us by surprise. I want the son of a bitch dead. Guys squeal into the ACN. Headhunters crawling all over us. How do you think that makes us look? The Syndicate can't afford screw-ups right now. We're ready for him this time. Should have been ready last time. But how do we know he was back on the job? I don't want to hear excuses. Next one of you sees this Wade guy and doesn't kill him, can go crawl on your belly to Don Fulci. That's after I cut your legs off. Sounds like quite a party. Better wait till it's over.
we heard he was dead. Well, he's the best they got. He took us by surprise. I want the son of a bitch dead. Guys squeal into the ACN, headhunters crawling all over us. How do you think that makes us look? The Syndicate can't afford screw-ups right now. We're ready for him this time. Should have been ready last time. But how do we know he was back on the job? I don't want to hear excuses. Next one of you sees this Wade guy and doesn't kill him, can go crawl on your belly to Don Fulci. That's after I cut your legs off. Sounds like quite a party. Better wait till it's over.
We're done here. Is the elevator turned on? Anyone awake down there? Sure. <clears throat> sure, boss. Elevator's working. Everything's cool down here. Get down there and check it out. over, Grey Wolf. The chairman's going down. And this here is my number one lieutenant. Jack Wade, meet Bruce. Bruce, kill Jack Wade. I was number two, till you took out number one at the gas station. Congratulations on the promotion. He was my brother.
I figured Bruce wasn't quite ready. But hey, you gotta let him make their mistakes. Else, how are they gonna learn? I'd say he picked up. Crime doesn't pay. I was thinking more. Shoot first. Talk after.
me! Pull me up! You want a good reason? I got organs. You ain't supposed to let me die. I forgot the rules. This amnesia is a bitch. I'll make it worth your while. I, I know stuff. Don Fulci. The syndicate. I ain't gonna beg. Start talking. Thanks. Hey, no hard feelings. The job, it's just money, right? You and me. We're different sides of the same dollar bill. Fulci's dollar? Days you can make a living freelance, they're gone. The syndicate, it's like the Teamsters. You don't work for them, you don't work at all. What line of work? Black market, mostly. Fulci's big into organ trafficking. And I mean big, crazy. Ships them in from the Mideast, China, all over. Beats me what he does with them all. Where's Fulci now? Last I heard, he was on a cargo ship, carrying organs from that flood in the Caribbean. The Queen of Hearts. It's been special, but no hard feelings. You earned your dollar. Fulci knows I screwed up on him. I'm better off on the side. In case you're interested, there's some ammo and other stuff in the storage room. Over there. If you're going after Fulci, you'll need it. They say you don't even see him coming, like the angel of death. I'll keep that in mind. Big story, the wolf is caged. Gang leader turned syndicate henchman Grey Wolf is tonight behind bars, following an ACN operation which left his wolf pack organization in disarray. Details are unclear, but word is hotshot headhunter Hank Redwood was responsible for the arrest, helming an ACN operation planned over several months. Grey Wolf himself now faces a long term in the notorious Aquadome underwater prison. Guess that's one wolf who wished he'd worn sheep's clothing, Kate. Absolutely, Bill. There's speculation on what the Syndicate's response will be to this defeat, but for now, it's wait and see. Meantime, the Biotech Corporation is dismissing reports that the Syndicate found a way to disable CCS implants, leaving criminals like Grey Wolf free to think for himself. The CCS biochip implant draws power from the electrical activity of the brain, remaining fully functional for the lifetime of the subject. Any attempt to tamper with the chip would reduce the subject to a vegetable. Still with biotech, the corporation responded to rumors of a mysterious viral outbreak at the labs, saying it was simply a bad case of flu among technicians researching a cure. A spokesman promised workers full compensation for any organs damaged. Meanwhile, biotech subsidiary Biopop is distributing its Xmas nutrient drink free to schools, hospitals, and aerobic centers as part of its new welfare program. Doctors advise us to keep up those fluids, especially during the flu season. Next up, some good news for seniors. From today, all over 60s on welfare get a job counting votes in state elections. With guaranteed recounts and generous bonuses for seniors whose count matches government computer predictions, these young at heart poll jockeys could be on to a winner. It's great to see those guys still active, Bill. Sure is, Kate. After the break, plucked from the ocean six weeks ago, raft boy Pedro Alonso is set to fly home. But with Miami relatives still laying claim to his organs, we ask, is home where the heart is?
Wait, it's Hawk. Uh, heard you got Grey Wolf. News travels fast. Layla database gets updated as soon as you arrest them. That's a good catch first time, huh? Like riding a bike. Keep it up. Every collar you make gives Headhunter credits, which means you can upgrade your license. Any chance that'd give me access to information on ship movements, manifests, docking dates? Any special reason? Someone I know is taking a cruise. Well, commercial records are confidential. Uh, you'll need higher clearance. Get down to Layla and upgrade your license. It's all there in the online database. Learn to walk before you run.